Hello you spunky bastards! It's Tuesday and there's only a couple of days left until Halloween, which is bad. Because we haven't set up the house full of decorations and stuff. But what I do have is some decorations I want to show you and the first one I want to show you is my zombie guys. This is my friend here, Brainless Brian, and this is the girl, f uh, well, based on the girl from The Ring, a movie where she pulls out the TV and she's got the hair covering her face. Yeah, kind of like that. And um, I want to show you how to make these guys, and I'm going to create an army of these guys for my front lawn. And you can create some too. And the funny thing about these guys is they're positionable. And their heads can go in different positions, and you can make their arms position in like. Night fever, night fever. Or you could have them like, you know, going after each other. Or you could set up entire weird scenes in your front garden and this guy's head's on back to front. Not the right way, Brian. Alright then, you can stare over there, I don't care. And I'm going to show you how to make these guys, but it's pretty simple. All you need is a couple of bottles, some, um, some TP or um, kitchen roll tubes, and uh, crepe paper and some plastic bags. And I think that's about it. Oh, and the lids from the bottles. Keep the lids because they are handy for making the eyeballs. Crepe paper is probably the only part you'll have to run out and buy for these. The rest of it is pretty much just what's lying around the house. Now, I want to show you how to make these guys because time's running out. Also, the sun is going down, so I'm going to lose my nat natural light if I don't do something quick. Now, let's see. Good starting point is the yeah, bottle. Now, I'm going to need two of these one for the body, one for the head. But, guys, that one's too big for the head. Well, that's why we're going to cut it in half. But not just in half, we're going to cut it in thirds. And the first third is going to come round about where the bottom of the label is. You're going to have to punch in, punch, puncture into the bottle to start it off, but then once you're in, you're golden. Now, I've taken the label off. You can leave the label on because uh, that will make a good guideline. I've had to take the label off because I don't want uh, the soda companies thinking I own something. Now, um, but good to make sure these are dry before you start work on them. Here's a little bit of tissue paper. So, same again for the top, but you're gonna go you're going to cut down where the label was, right? Cut down along the length of the label, and then where the label stops, you're going to go around the circumference of the bottle uh, again. And, whoo! Okay. Hey, I lost the bottom of the head. So, the top of the bottle is going to be the bottom of the head, and the bottom of the bottle is going to be the top of the head. Work that one out. Now, do not throw this away. I'm telling you, we are going to use this later. Now, I have one I prepared earlier, which is... Nope, that one's not cut in half either. You know what? Let's just cut it, because it's probably simpler than trying to find one. Doop, 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 doop. So, just cut it along this seam, and that should be roughly in half. That was not quite in half, was it? So, I messed up and didn't cut it in half, but it's not going to matter as long as you can get a circle uh, cylinder, rather, tube that can fit down the neck. I mean, we could use a, a TP roll for this, but I don't think uh, it's wise to use these for anything else, really because they're not quite long enough to make shoulders and they're not quite long enough to make the legs either. So, we'll use them for the neck because that seems smart. Now, this is a bit of a tight fit which is why I say cut it in half because the less plastic you have here the easier it is to fit it down the neck, you know? So... Mm. Ow! They tried to eat me! Well, it's a zombie, what's it gonna do? Right. Now then, now then, get in the neck then. Right. So, that's 
that right there. I want to leave a lot sticking up, and I do mean a lot, like, you know, more than what a neck's worth, but I'll show you why in a minute. Right, now take your head, I cut that at a silly angle, but that's okay because it's not really the aim of the game. It's not meant to look neat, really, because zombies don't exactly look neat. They don't come out in pressed suits. Now I'll do that. Right. So after you've dried this out, that's going to be the top of the head, remember? So what you're going to want to do is push a little bit of this in, like fold it in, hold it with your finger, just push, and then you're going to try and pop this into the top of the head, like that. Now, what, what I forgot to do last time, and I'm going to show you this time, is to cut around the neck of the bottle, leaving about half an inch or so of, whoops, be careful, okay? I don't want you chopping your fingers off, you silly funky bastards. Now, here you go. So now you've got a hole about that wide, maybe an inch and a half. You just want to leave like half an inch around there and you've got a good diameter of hole. I think this one's actually a bit big, but it's because I'm rushing. I'm not rushing, I'm rushing. Right. So, again, fold, fold a little bit in and poke the bottom inside the top. Now I'm having trouble with it. Probably because the, the bottom's not on for stability, you know? So, now I put my fingers inside and just fold it out a little bit for stability. See that? Nice and round. Whoop. It's going to have some shock that's hanging off as well. Now, um, a ba -bum -bum -bum. now you can just use some scotch tape to hold this on. And I, I know that some of you may not have hot glue guns don't use the hot glue guns use the low temperature glue guns if you have that are going to seal this up nice for you but um, I'm just going to use a bit of scotch tape now because we're running out of time now this usually sits on there pretty nicely now I want to get a little bit more height on this thing because this here see now this head is positioned as locked forward. You can put it to the side or to the other side or whatever. It makes it more positionable rather than just sitting on there and being able to spin it. You know? I mean you can still spin it but it keeps its position better when it's it when the neck part is up in one of these little knobs here. So we have our neck, we have our head, we have our body. What we don't have is skin on zombies. I mean, you could make a see-through zombie, but that's not very zombie-like now, is it? For skin, I usually use crepe paper. Now, crepe paper is... It comes in a weird and wonderful, wacky set of colours. You can find some greens, you can find some dark greens too. But, um, I used, used this light green for a couple of zombies, but I'm going to use this dark green now because I want to make a diverse group of zombies. And... Oh, there you go, right. Boop. Meanwhile, right, so we want to take about two hands width, roughly, of this green crepe paper and lay it over the top from one side to the other. And then tape that in place. Do, 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 do. Now we, now we, now then. I'm going to get another one and go across in another angle. So we've got another one there. And we just want to layer that up. What? Like papier mache, yes. Paper mache, just with crepe paper mache. Go figure, right? So after about four of these, you should have a nice covered head. Or at least on the top. We're going to do some more covering as we go down. We're still missing one. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Yes. This. Part. Now, you 
could get really adventurous and try and make a mouth. You know? So you go like, uh, you cut in here a little bit and uh, separate it. Simple zombie face is probably the easiest. Abadabadam. But now we have the top of the head covered. We're not going to see a lot of the top of the head, but just in case some of the hair slips, and it will still look like crepe paper. Now, what I want you to do next is take probably not as much as this, probably not as little as that, but I want you to go around the bottom and curve around there like that and again just sticky tape in place sticky tape sticky tape sticky tape again just take another one go around at this angle sticky tape tape. Will one more do it? I think one more might do it. Yeah, one more. Rather good positioning if I do say so myself. Right. Stickity tape, stickity tape. And now you should have a nice full chin of tape. <laughs> right. Now what I want you to do is start in at the top of the head, go like this, and then bandage down to sew it covers all the uh, all the tape you already have but um, I want you to sort of um, go from one part and go like up and around and then you might need to go back down a little bit but like where it ends up on the back of the head or at least you want to make that back of the head the part that the uh, part that most of the hair covers so you only want one piece of tape to be showing, and that's on the back, okay? I'm sure you guys understand what I'm saying. Sounds like a really nice motorbike, doesn't it? Right. Now, with this bit here, you're probably just going to stick a little bit of glue in there or something. The glue ain't working. Are you not feeling hot? Mr. Jalapeno? Okay. So just glue that down. Glue, 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 glue. Lovely. So, oh, hot. So, um, oh, there's some more here. Okay. Now, the zombies' heads don't have to be perfectly shaped or anything, so it doesn't really matter how badly you mess it up. Here's the mouth one I was talking about. This guy ended up turning out looking like a frog. So, but it doesn't really matter because zombies are going to have different shaped heads, different sizes, different colours. You know, and you might even find some like yellow um, bottle caps. Like get some yellow ones or some red ones. Make a zombie with red eyes. But I think white shows up the best, especially because it's going to be dark when everyone comes around to do trick or treating, right? So, get some of the low temp glue gun again, and just glue you, you, oh man, around this edge here, be careful of your fingers, and I can't stress that enough, so go from the opposite side to the tape, and glue your first eyeball on, congratulations, you have a cyclops, now, Another one. I suppose you could use odd alternating colours, but you know, whatever. Whatever floats your biscuits. You might leave him with one. Uh, you could use one from a Coke Zero, I think. Do they have black lids? I think they have black lids. So, you could use a Coke Zero. And then, just want to get a Sharpie or something. And just sort of make a. Make a dot in the middle, 
and a dot in the middle. There you go. You have a nice little zombie head. I'm going to give him some eyes, but I want to make him derpy. So maybe I'm going to stick his eyes outside like that. Congratulations, derpy! <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. And a fun Halloween. So, now the thing about these guys, hey frog guy, you can sit over there. Boop. So, the thing about these guys is you're going to want this head to balance in, in, on this so that one of the one of the little nobules on top sticks in the doodah. So put that on and squish it down just enough so that the plastic of the top one meets the neck of this bottle, right? The cut plastic bit just sits. Don't squish it down too tight because then it will flop all over the shop. And then you'll have a spider web apparently. Isn't it funny how uh, hot glue guns leave little spider webs hanging off everything? Wait, right now, body. So here's the body I prepared earlier, without any doodads on it. And here's the body with a doodad. See how the cardboard goes through there? Well, that's the next step. So where are my scissors? Scissors. They're hiding underneath the crepe paper. Excellent. So. What we need to do is get one of these, it's a kitchen roll tube. I prefer you to use a kitchen roll tube because then you'll have to glue three TP tubes together, one inside the other, to create that axle needed. And that's tough. So just use one of these kitchen roll tubes. Roll it up nice and tight and that will be your top axle. You need two of these axles and then you're golden. And I prefer that legs are just one solid thing again. And you can glue three TP tubes together, but TP tubes are about half the size, see? Or even less than that. So you have to intersect in the middle, like cut one in half, stick that up that one stick that one on that one and then glue it and it's a lot of extra fussing around so I'd rather you didn't do that but if you have to hey <laughs> so the legs are going to go on top of these with a plastic bag now if you get a whole bunch of plastic bags sort them out so you've got some uh, colored ones and you've got some plain ones and the plain colorful ones not the plain but not the white coloured ones, but get the colourful ones for the clothes. We want to use the white coloured ones for something else. Save them for another video. Right, I'll show you later. But if you get the uh, ones with like stores and logos and all that stuff on it, then you'll see what I mean in a minute when I find them. Yeah, I've got a whole whole load of them right here. Right. Horrible. It's far too many. Right. Got this one. Okay. So now you have a nice long thingamajig. Urgh. Squeeze all the air out of it and double it up like a hoop. Now, I want you to put this in the middle of here. So I'll thread it all the way through. New plan. Put this all the way through. It's not going to do what I told it to. You can grab the top, grab the top, pull it out. And then your leg's going to go on here. And you go dunk, and it's going to hold. Kind of like this. I'm going to do the same thing for the arms, but I'm going to show you something cool about the arms. Right. So you put that on here, you go thunk, and then you fold that back, double it back, and then wrap the uh, wrap the tape around here. You want a pretty big piece of tape. You don't want this coming off now, do you? 
Right, so a big old piece of tape on there. Wrap it round. Nice and jubity jew. Jubity jew. Okay. Make sure that the start of the tape overlaps the end of the tape, you know? So go all the way around. Now your arm's on. But that's not the arm, that's the leg. So we want to take that one out and save that one for later. So I'm going to stick my arm back in the other way. Now, like that. Now, again, to make the legs, you want to go just below where you make the hole for the arm. To make the arms and legs whole, you need to puncture another hole nearer the bottom of the bottle, probably around about the same point where the, uh, where the, my brain, hold on, where the label was. So go down to about where the label was and puncture a hole and then cut a little X shape. I don't know if you can see that. So you want to fold in these these little pieces here. So make an X shape or a plus shape or whatever you want to call it. You want to make one on the other side and then push your leg axle through like that. Same with the arms. You know, do it exactly the same. Just want to make sure you go like as close to opposite the there you go. As close to opposite the other side as you can. If it's a little off that's okay. Hips sometimes skew to the left and skew to the right. Yeah, could be doing a dance. Do, do, do. I want to cut this thing into a plus. But it seems like too much fuss. Do, 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 do. Hey.